Hey, Pastor Mo. So what is it that we are celebrating this 4th of July? Well, we are celebrating what our country represents, which is a desire to create a nation built on a universal claim to human dignity, that every man, woman, and child have a right to a future of freedom. Jesus has something to say about freedom in John 8. He tells us, if you hold on to my teachings, you will, are really my disciples. It is then that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. I tell you the truth. Everyone who sins will become a slave to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Here we are, the week of the 4th. Many of us are celebrating Independence Day, a day where we celebrate just how free we are, especially here in the U.S. But Jesus reminds us just how unfree many of us truly are, whether we realize this or not. Just look around. If we are so free, then why are there people who can't let go of anger or bitterness and instead they carry it around like a heavy ball and chain? Is that freedom? Some are constantly struggling to have more money and things and they're working their lives away. Is that freedom? Others live in fear of death and they spend exorbitant amounts of money and time and energy to live just a little bit longer when they know that death is not the end. Is that freedom? Jesus speaks truth when he says we can be free and still not be free. Because everyone who sins, we become a slave to that sin. When greed grabs our hearts and controls our lives, we're not free. When jealousy fills our mind and guides our tongues, we're not free. When alcohol or lust control our actions, we're not free. The irony is we think that the more we can do what we want, the freer we are. We say things like, it's a free country. I can do whatever I want. But Jesus helps us to see what true freedom looks like. It doesn't look like doing what we want when we want. Jesus actually says, if you hold on to my teachings, it is then that you will know the truth and that will set you free. You see, getting our way isn't freedom, not in Jesus' eyes. Freedom doesn't come from a country or a political party or getting what we want. The devil's lie is that freedom is found when we do what we want and get what we want. That somehow that's what life is all about and that's what leads to our happiness. But God's truth is that real freedom is found only when we trust in what Jesus has already done for us on the cross. And we trust in living out the way of Jesus and God's love in the world. A way that seeks love even with our enemies. A way that forgives even those who've hurt us and don't say they're sorry. A way that desires peace amid dissension and a way that lives out God's love in all that we do. Believing that all children are a child of God and a manifestation of God's love here on earth. If we are truly free, we understand this. And we will do everything in our power to live out this way in the world. So it is up to us, brothers and sisters, are we truly free? Let us go out there and live out God's freedom.